Alright guys, we are Team Neo Beyond. <laughs> okay, we got our we got our Edma Stealth Rogue Hype Lord right here, our team captain. And then we got myself, the not no I'm not gonna dub, the Blaster Master. And right here yeah. we got the salty sea man who's just full of all the hype. Oh let's go blue wave! There's a reason why yes. there's a reason why this room is white today. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's everywhere. Oh yeah, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Alright. But before we talk about yeah, the sun discussion, before we talk about Aqua Force, we're going to be talking about the Zero Dragon because that's probably the biggest topic that people have going on right now. Well, besides all the crazy Aqua Force hype. So, so what is a Zero Dragon? What is Ultimate Stride, our hype lord? All right. So Ultimate Stride is you have to be at GB three, and you have to ditch the same name, exact same name as your Vanguard. That's the only requirement. So, Legion, let's go! <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. You can use your Legion mates and another really, really cheeky play that you no, never... No, no, I, I get to talk about Yeah, you know, you're I the get to talk you're about You're the Blaster that. Master, you talk about that. Continue on, sir. Dire, di you go ahead. All right, all right, all right. All right. So, 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 finishing up Ultimate Stride. Um, it's conditioned, you have to have three face-up uh, GB units, and... Um, like I said, you have to discard a card in your Vanguard. However, at the end of your turn, when your G unit returns, um, or if it returns to the G zone by any means, you exclude your G zone. That's where your G assisted cards go. So they're gone. They're not targeted. Vanish, exile, remove from play. So, like we were talking about. Set on fire, you know? Like we were talking about, you know, you can use your Legion for. You can choose your Grade 3 or your Legion mate. Maybe they'll actually edit in cards so this looks a bit better. Um, <laughs> I'll probably do Dragon you or Blaster Joe for one of the two. Um, Why not Fix Saber? Because I hate him. Oh, uh, but he's gonna be the main one. And he's gonna. Use. Gonna, <laughs> I am gonna have a blaster thing saver meta. Cat Butler is back. No. <laughs> no. Cat Butler too strong. Too strong. R Risers tier zero confirmed. What? No. Miles no. Miles no. no. All right, but get to that later. So, then what you can do? You can play, execute plate, the blaster. Get your three face up G units and then attack this execute plate and soul blast all that soul you've been building up over the turns if you haven't soul blasted them for your perfect cards. Then you get down to grade two. Next turn, you have Blaster Blade in your hand. And you go, well, because there isn't a grade requirement, it's just as long as there's three phase up, I have to discard a card in my Vanguard. You're like, I'm going to stride on grade two for ultimate stride by ditching Blaster Blade. That's. That's the cheekiest play that you're never gonna see, guys. Uh, yeah, you will see it. I'm gonna, we're gonna do a shot tournament, like final round video, and I'll perform it and win that game. He will not win that game. <laughs> he will uh, not. Let's let's also confirm that like ultimate strides are 25k base. Oh yeah, yeah, that's another thing. Another 25 plus. 25k base. Yeah, so you're gonna be swinging for 36 or 34 if you want to be a cheeky person who strides over a plastic leg, you know. Numbers, I guess. Let's see, what, are you, what are you gonna do next? Like try and stride Madu over your blaster blade, get your great, get your exculpate back. <laughs> oh shit! I mean, like, <laughs> well, watch the language. What man. are what are what are your rights? Oh my god! Okay, let's also talk about this All right, let's zero off dragons this effects. All right, so we got the Magna Kalia or how do you say you? The Magalanica. Yeah. I'm the Aqua Force elitist. It's gonna be pronounced right. Magalanica. Go ahead. Yeah, go on. Well, you All right, you know what? I'll talk about it then. I'll talk about it. All right, so a zero off dragon of distance, see Megiddo. And it's a Magalanica zero off dragon. Of course, ultimate stride and all that. And whenever you place it on Vanguard Circle, you counter blast two. And then choose five cards from either your hand or your drop zone. Call them to separate rearguard circles. And your Vanguard gains the skill at the end of the battle, your rearguard attack. Choose one of your other rearguards and switch positions. This is not in the same column. I am tired of seeing like 15 different YouTubers saying that you have to swap the switch in the same column. No. You can switch behind the card in your Vanguard, you can switch in the front, you can switch anywhere. Plus, 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 all the cards get 5k. They all do get 5k, so you go crazy with that Platina Ezel skill. The but, ultimate break? Anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and talk about what this does for each clan and what it doesn't do. Oh yes, because I- Absolutely shit in Bermuda Triangle. Oh yeah, no. You're not, well, actually, if you play this in Prisms, what you'll do is you'll bring- Why is it always back. Prisms? Like, because Prisms are the only good Bermuda Triangle deck. Damn! Morris gets <laughs> shit! <laughs> anyway. What? What you do with Prisms is that you'll bring the cards back from the drop zone and you'll use their own skills to bounce them back from hand. That's so if call, you run the new ones. You'll call the PGs back. Okay, another thing is Prisms are made to last beyond this because they're Limit Break decks. Yeah. Last in Limit Break! Ah, there we go! Nice. Limit Break's making a comeback, Legion's making a comeback, it's raining cats and dogs, what the hell's going on with this Ford's fucking game? Majesty for the second time in the game. Oh yeah. <laughs> Anyways, well, for Bermuda, 
You're going to call your cards back from the drop zone and bring them back to hand because you're not going to be using only your play. Only because your play. Let's, are let's, let's also yeah. believe that, like, if you are a Bermuda Triangle, you're going to call all the cards from your drop back to the field so you can box them all back. You're going to want to do drop anyway because you're not going to want to really do any hand advantage. And you're not going to want to lose any hand advantage. Yeah. Grand Blue, this is just an earlier Galleon. That's literally it. This really doesn't do uh, anything. Really, yeah, you're gonna do. The, yeah. You're gonna play. Nut I mean, you get hollow. I mean, you hollow. Yeah, yeah you hollow. There it is. Yeah. There but is. You no have two units that do the same thing, but better. The only thing this will do for you is let you get more multi attacks. All right. Now this does power up the units by five k. So it's like if yeah, you more power. So it's yeah. like if you really need the extra push, and you just and your opponents like beat you into a court, you might play this in Grand Blue. But not guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Maybe. And the Maybe. units do stay. They do not go back into the... the unless, of course, you unless, hollow Unless them. by their own effects. Yeah, yeah, unless, unless you hollow them. Which in a hollow deck, you're going to want to hollow them anyway. So this is free. All right. Well, besides the kind of Now, before I go to talk about how this impacts the Aqua Force, let's talk about what the Aqua Force we're going to be getting in this set is. Now, I'm taking this away because I'm the Salty Sea Man. That's my main clan. It's been this main clan since I started the game. Valios, my boy, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, he hates Valios. I love Valios. All right, so Valios is skill. His first skill is Counterblast One at the beginning of your right phase. You can take a blue wave card from your hand, call it to rearguard circle, and give it plus two K. And if you call the card, draw a card. Cool. You're rarely ever going to use this skill because it's going to chew your Counterblast, and blue waves are looking like they're going to be a Counterblast heavy deck. Second skill. This is the one that everybody either loves or hates. I don't care who you are. I love this card. This card is exactly what Aqua Force has needed for a long time. Whenever you stride a blue wave on top of them. You Soul Blast a Blue Wave, and you choose your opponent's Vanguard, you set it to 11,000, and it is fixed at 11,000 until the end of the turn. Only way you can gain any power is through guarding. There's no power gaining, no Make the Ghosty, no Vainglory Dream Cat, no Maiden of Daybreak, no Clara Sword, no Sobnak, no Majesty! No Majesty, boy! <laughs> Do we need a fight? I will fisty cuff you! No! <laughs> boy! I think we know how that's gonna go. We're both a couple nerds, we'll just want to uh, Okay, so let's talk about how Thoribus, because of this card, Thoribus was like up at 15 right now. Oh my now, god! Now it's back to 9 bucks. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thoribus okay. was reprinted for your sins. Alright, so back to the Aqua Force. First off, shout out to my boy Carfight King, Aqua Life Baby. You already know how it is. Um, anyway, going. Shut up. Anyway. <laughs> Going back to it, any anybody who invested in Thavis, rip. Um, anybody who's invested in Maelstrom, it's pretty much paid off, but not as much as Blue Wave. Well, let's be honest. If you're playing Maelstrom, you know it's trash. You're playing it for you're, fun. You know it's gonna yeah, be like I mean, cheap. Yeah, I mean the It's the gimmick deck of Aqua Force. Cheaper. You play it for fun. You don't play Maelstrom. If you want to feel the wind, you go for Leon. <laughs> if you want to be the wind. Value. Yeah, this <laughs> of course win. isn't even you the same that you knew. You create the win, bro. <laughs> you are the win. Going back to the rest of the support, alright. So we have Blue Wave Dragon, oh, Blue Wave Martial Dragon, Flood Hazard Dragon. This bonkers stride that I absolutely love. Insert, insert picture of uh, oh, yeah, the, the Cancelot with, with Blood with, Hazard's with, face on it. With, 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 with freaking guns and stuff. Uh, alright, I will Photoshop. <laughs> all right. it's, no, it already exists. It's already put it on. Alright, alright. Here, put it over so, my face. I'll put it over your face. One of the two. Put it over my face. I'm a salty sea man. I'm salty right now, though. Exactly. <laughs> Feed me your tears. It'll make me grow stronger. Let me just use 12 keys with same thing in stock before, so. Not anymore, boy. Not anymore. Let's talk about how it's also a Saint Guard at GB30. Only for the front row, and they're only getting plus two. But it gets an extra drive. If you get, they get that drive, I'd have no problems with this. Can I finish the skill though? All right. All right. So its skill. skill is that at the end of the battle, that your rearguard, that your blue wave rearguard attacked a vanguard. If you have a blue wave heart and it's the fourth battle of that turn, counterblast one, discard two cards, stand him back up, and he loses three drive checks. The GB three gets drive plus one. All your blue wave rearguards in the front row get plus two K. This is bonkers because it's a quad drive standing vanguard. It's the first in the game. And the best thing about this is a pseudo out to Link Joker. You don't have to play Commander Thomas anymore. I just played against Chaos Breaker not too long ago, and I got my ass handed to me because he kept locking my back row attackers. Ah, hey, man! But you hey. got a great, you got a great two unit. Hey, let's, yeah. let's, 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 we'll get there in a second, though. Hey, guys, hey, guys. Just, just advice for all Link Joker players. If you're playing Aqua Force, lock their back row, not the front row. 
The back row is the scarier part. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> here's the thing. This is the this is another out to link choker. Why? Because if they try to lock you and you know you can't get that stand, you stride into this for the quad drive. You cancel out with it. That's why it's cancel out. That's why it's blue away cancel out. And then uh, and then you just wait for them to like not kill yeah, you exactly. next turn and if it, it, and then you deluge them, right? If, if, it, oh, didn't, if it didn't get Shut the up. if it didn't get the drive plus one tell it restood, I'd have no problem. Yeah, but it's not gear next, it's better. Oh, I said it! I said it! I said it! What? I said it! Kevin, the salty Seaman's bringing out some salty words here! Kevin, our cameraman. He's just, <laughs> he's just losing it back there. Uh, what are triggers, bro? Yeah, what are triggers? What are triggers? Yeah. Let's talk about how you guys, or how Blue Egg gets four triggers. Mm -hmm. Four Each? effect yes. triggers? Yeah, we have four. A heal included. Yeah, we are getting an effect heal. This is the first time in a long time since what? Sunny Smile Angel? Uh, fighters question sense. We're not counting that, everyone got one. First time in yeah, a long time in the main set. Count. Last time was back in what, BT07? Oh, uh, uh, Mega Support. Oh, 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 oh yeah, Mega's playing. Mega's sure got a circle. Oh, Mega's the circle trash. came in set 3, but Japan got it way before, and then we, because of our weird ass system, because they get, try to give us limit break and the first sets at the same time. Yeah, so, but, but, but that, that, that's besides but, the point. But that, that, that just includes that, like how forever ago we got this. You know, okay. this is the prime example of how Bushy Road is power creeping this game. If Blue Wave is getting an effect heal trigger, that means pretty much all the other clans what are going to be What about Battle Sister heal trigger, man? Pretty battle much Sisters other... don't need it. We, we got Turo. We got Turo. You want to be religious, religious saint guard? Huh? I'll be religious soul saver. Uh, all right. Anyways, camera. Break two. We don't know its full effect yet. It hasn't been spoiled. But from what the anime says, it's kind of last one and discard a card during the main phase, and it gains two skills. The first one is a wave first time only. The end of the battle, it attack the vanguard, stand it back up, and the other one is whenever your vanguard attacks, stand it back up. It can triple swing without having to rely, rely on any other cards. The fact that Flood Hazard's GB3 gives your front row 11k means all of these Gallius attacks are going to be able to hit the Vanguard. And Valius's power freezing ability means these pokes are more than just pokes. Yeah, and then because of Valios, you're just sitting there going, um, Cross Ride, what? Majesty, what? This is a major change to the actual deck itself. Because I mean, you're not running Tyro Assault no more. Yeah. Thoribus is not really that relevant in late game. It's more of the early game. Yeah, it's not early game. Blue, wave, blue Wave is actually Blue Wave restricted. You are, will not run Anger Boral. It's Boral. giving me heavy Revenger vibes. Anger, Anger Boral would not be run anymore. I know. Like, it sucks. Me personally, it doesn't work with the Me games. personally, I'm going to be running four Valios. Two Tetra Drive because Limit Break is Bay, and um, but why not? two of the new Grade Three Arsenal Fleet. Now, Arsenal Fleet skill is you Counter Blast one Blue Wave, I believe, and it gets plus four K. And the skill right um, Wave Second Time Only at the end of the battle to attack the Vanguard, stand it. But that's really not what breaks the skill. What breaks it is its Drop Zone skill. When your Vanguard stands, Soul Blast one and bring it back from the Drop Zone to the hand. This is a great three that recurs itself. You're it's a common. It is a common. Which makes me sad because I can't shiny out my deck, but still, I'm gonna I'm play. sorry. You're gonna get SPs of everything else? I mean, yeah, I mean, am, but. Might as well. I mean, there's no, there's no more uh, SP packs. But you realize that this is more of a better support for um, Anger Boil than Valos? It's really a good support for either of them. The I only thing is, it does conflict with Valios' is Soul Blast. These other effect triggers we get, they should either add to soul or return back to deck. But currently, we do not know the effects of the triggers. So the triggers yeah. could also soul charge themselves. So. I mean, they yeah, could. Since we don't know their effects, there's no point. But currently, we don't know. So. I mean, what I want that heal trigger to do is go back to deck and be a real trooper clone, except... We do charges. not need a heal! Shut up, that's what I want! Give me team. what I want! Only when, Please, Majesty, Majesty. Only when Majesty Lord gets actual the, support! The stand trigger, I, I believe, will be another blue trooper, except will be counter charge. That, I feel like one of the triggers is definitely going to be a counter Because I feel like, I feel like that's going to be like this deck. I feel like if we're going to do what Eradicators did, which I feel like is the move they're going to do, mm -hmm. the crit will probably get 3k, the stand will counter charge, and then this, well, we already know the crit draws. Well, yeah, the trooper. Well, yeah, it's, I mean the, the draw, draw trigger is going to be a Malika clone. I'm assuming. Yeah. The stand trigger is probably going to counter charge, and the heal trigger is probably going to be a G guard effect because we are getting a blue wave named heal trigger. I mean G guard in the set. Yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's similar to whatever this is discarded for any blue wave G guard. I mean, yeah. 
I mean, it might just discard counter charge when, when you guard the blue AG guard. Oh, that would be enough for me. Ugh. That would be enough counter yeah. charge. You just don't need to send it back to the deck. Okay, yeah. But anyway, moving on to the rest of the Aqua Force support. We have a new grade 2 8K that has a resist on the rear guard circle. It's okay, it's AK. All, AK, OK. Only on the rear guard circle, so if you guard with it against Die Kaiser, they can still blow it the hell up. That is hella sexy, man. But, um, it's an AK, GB1, take an attack from the back row and gets plus 3,000, and has resist, rip link joker, this thing's really good. This thing is really good. My, Wait, my GB1 hey, hey. effects! Yes, it's a GB1. It's a GB1. Hey, hey, hey uh, just to let you guys know, I don't target with Blaster Joker, I lock the whole field. Yeah, but nobody plays Blaster Joker except the Blaster Master over here. You only play it because it has Blaster in the name. Shut up. Why aren't you playing Blaster Dark Diablo then? Where's your Where's your Diablo deck? Because that's my friend's deck, he built it before me. Rip. Anyway. Also, we also got an Abyssal Owl clone that's really good. Yeah, on plays, check top 7 for Valios, you know the deal. And then, whenever your Vanguard stands, stand this. Funny thing about this is that this just gives a big middle finger to me Mega Colony because if they try and paralyze it during your stand phase, you're going to stand your Vanguard anyway. Well, who's because you're paralyzed I'll, I'll tell you. Players. I'll tell you who. People are playing that new Dark Queen Queen. Dark, yeah, dark Queen. Queen. That deck is actually really going to hurt because the thing about the Blue Wave deck from what we've seen so far is this deck is going to be ridiculously counter blast heavy. People are saying it's going to be Helmet. People are saying it's going to be easy to run. And Valios is the helmet part. No, it's, Everything else it's is the normal. quad drive. Just the, so the, just because the, the deck the is fact, quad drive, it's auto The helmet. fact of quad drive makes your deck, like, basically helmet. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Majesty is not helmet. I take the risk. Yeah, that's because you're taking a helmet and you're like... The card oh, itself! I'm, I'm taking the helmet and helmet. just shoving it straight to my head where it shatters. <laughs> if Genslaw can you're put... You're wearing half a helmet. If Genslaw can put blood... Flood, flood on his head. It's helmet. <laughs> so I'm just saying the but card. Who, the but card is the helmet. Not, not the deck itself, but the card. Who's the helmet then? Gansel or the flood? No, dude. You see, he has the Pegasus. It's flood helmet. drive. Who, who <laughs> are who? Drive strider. Who are helmet? Yeah, I, I don't feel so like it's the person helmet. who paints the deck. No, I'm, I'm just saying the card itself is helmet. Uh, but I feel like the, I feel like we have to look at the deck it goes into because I feel like whenever you do Drag Strider Lubard, you have to it's not as helmet because you have to pay attention to what you're doing. Every, right, we're we're digressing here. Yeah, we're we we digressing. Alright, so we need, yeah, to get we need to get back on the point. Alright, so Valios is stupid. <laughs> I love Valios. He hates Valios. I love that he hates it. It should have been a GB2 skill, that would have been fine. Yeah, but that would no. contradict with the deck being not GB. Besides this one damn card that's a grade 2. <laughs> Who cares about that? I'm gonna zero dragon, and if I fail, I'm gonna ride tech your drive and just laugh in the limit break. That's it. Yeah, it's in like case even, you're wondering, I'm the one who posted it on Vanguard. It's not even limit break either, dude. It's I just know, whatever. I know, it's like I said, if that if it was, if it was, not even limit break. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not limit break, break, but Tetra Drive is, and that's yeah. why I'm gonna take two of them. Right. That's why I was saying, like, if it was GB2 for that, you couldn't use it till your second strike, because you would flood hazard flip up something. And then you can get that gives your opponent a turn one turn to breathe. Okay, another thing about flood hazard. You don't have to play it in Blue Wave to get the quad drive. No, you don't. Yeah. You can play it in Maelstrom and get the quad drive. You can play it in Thavis and get the quad drive. But if you're playing those decks, what the hell are you doing? Play Blue Wave. Play Blue Wave. Please. Uh, unless you're playing Maelstrom for the walls. I'm going to be playing Maelstrom for the walls. And That's because you already have Blue Wave built. Yes, I do. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Le lesson of the day. You can only have fun decks if you already own the meta deck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I owned the deck before it was meta. I owned it since 2015. I, I own Majesty. You and Cars Bright King and every I, other... Aqua Life Baby! Red. I have owned Majesty since 2012. I think I've swayed long enough for him to become meta, even though he's not I've owned I have loaned him. I've owned Tetra Drive since 2013, okay? That's why I'm still going to take two copies. All right, let's get back. I had the size with my boy. Before they keep cool. Alright, we're taking way too damn long. Let's get back to this. It's gonna right. be like an hour discussion at this point. It has it been that long? Have, have we went absolution yet? Yeah, yeah, have we pulled it have we All pulled right, it up? absolution? Okay. Alright, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is the new extra booster that's confirmed. It's called Galaxy Strike Gate. Or Stargate, sorry. No, Strygate sounds cooler. Galaxy Stargate sounds Stry right. Strygate's the anime, okay? Yeah. What, this, why this is, just be called this is a real set. Alright, so it's Broken here. English. So it has one ZR, 
three GRs, six triple Rs, 12 double Rs, 21 rares, 33 commons, and 12 SPs. That, so sounds, pretty, that sounds pretty big basically, for booster. Basically, well, the ZR is what makes it sound kind of big. It's three clans plus. It's really, it's really just like the character booster slash uh, technical boosters we've had, but with the ZR added to make it, it seems bigger because the ZR is in yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, so there's seven, seventy-two new cards, four reprints, twelve packs, and every pack will contain two cards, like how we have been. If you invested in Photon, I am so sorry. Big well, news! Big they news! Already, they already know they failed once ex, uh, Strange Dragon was released. But you run them both! Yeah, you run four yeah, strange yeah you run them plus Iron, so all your Grey 2's luck! <laughs> yeah! Like, we have the exact opposite thing what Thoibus has. We're, we already have the common, or the... Yeah, your card was ridiculously expensive but to begin now with. now we have a triple armor. See, I, Bushy, I love you for all the people who bought out Foibos at like 15 a pop and made it so expensive. And, and then right after... <laughs> <laughs> ha, yes! And all the people right afterwards who just cried because Bushy was like, Oh yeah, this is going to kind of kills their pain. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so the GRs, like, like from speculation, are going to be the Messiah Stride. Or the Messiah card, I don't know. It's, it's, it's referred to be a great three. Mas the Messiah card. Why do they need more great threes? They I know, just I got two new ones. The Blau? Oh, yeah, the, not the Blau. The Victor stride. Or whatever. Whatever Victor is. And then the Glen Gallop. They're good new strides. Which is, I think they're all strides. Yeah. I would like to say they're all strides. They're, I would hate I'm, to I'm say gonna say they're three. all strides because Bushy did say that out of this clan booster or out of this extra booster, because it doesn't look like the one that you came are out of. able. Yeah, it looks like a different yeah, one. It looks like a different one. They did say that out of this clan booster, you are able. Or, I keep saying clan booster because that's all we had for a long time. Out of this extra booster, you are able to build a full Victor and Grand Gallop deck out of just the cards in the in the set. Yeah, so. and like Messiah already had their support due to the weak Joker. So 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 what you're cry, telling me is that there's a chance for infinite support. No, <laughs> no, it's already confirmed that most of the supports will be deleters. <gasps> My boy, <laughs> is this true? Yes, there is deleted support. The there crit got reprinted. Yeah. The crit's just like a regular reprint common in the set. And then all the stride fodder got reprinted. Sever Temper also got reprinted, so you don't have to worry about getting those promos anymore. Uh, what else? What other reprints? Uh, oh yeah, by the way, Valios for your broken heart. <laughs> <laughs> just because I just saw the angel. Just, just that's angel feather in general. I just I got not, real day. If you're and playing angel feather and you see your I opponent flip up a blue wave starter, just scoop your stuff up and walk <laughs> yeah, off. Yeah, skip up right then and there. I am sorry. You, your main mechanic, your whole defense about your damage zone, your broken hearts, and hey, all that. Hey, that's gone. Hey, no. Work. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what you should do. It's if still part of the purpose. If you're playing, if you're playing, uh, I mean, angel feather, you just simply use rescue, but offensively. What? You can do that? Yeah, it's just more drive check. We never had a person in our, in our vocals. Never had. <laughs> no, it's because nobody's... No, I'm not going to say not, that. Not, I did, not, I did. To the, not to the point where there are huge ass numbers like in the anime. No, you see, the thing is, I had the deck built before I pretty much sold it to Joe. Like, I sold him a good chunk. Oh, and just oh yeah. Him out. Joe, him out. <laughs> Joe's another member. He'll occasionally show up, like, maybe once in a blue moon. That's why we call that, it the Etchy Enigma. I, I built the deck to actually... Be aggressive. The problem is you decked out on second stride. <laughs> <laughs> what <are> you... <laughs> See, that's why they need a card that will like return cards from the drop back to the deck. So you're saying Dreaming Dragon for everyone? Yes. <laughs> or Dreaming... what for any deck that draws a bunch, you all get Dreaming Dragons. Good job, Chaos Breaker. You get a Dreaming Dragon. <laughs> no more deck out. Surprise, surprise! I deck out with blasters. <laughs> I get to deck out. That's that's your fault. You should. You you run so many quadrants. Or so many like triple drives. I play five draw triggers. I'm sorry. <laughs> the fact that you also get five I play five drives. draw triggers and I don't deck out. But I subdue your calling quad drive. Do you have block about to quad drive? Do you have like? Like too many copies of Alfred's and like freaking drive checking with your blaster blades. I have Brutal Trooper, which will draw me like 12 cards in one turn. Yeah, but is it drive check <laughs> No. Hey, when that drive check can also get you a trick. So you may get five drive, drive checks, but I also get five drive checks, but they're split up, so they have to guard with more. Mm. But they're always grouped up together for some Actually, reason. technically, my drive checks are split up as well. I get four and then one. So yeah, no, but it's a banger too, because it's already huge, so people don't want to block it. <laughs> yeah. Now here's the thing. There's a new starter coming out for Blue Wave, and we don't know what it does. 
depending on what it does, depends on whether people are going to run Dagger Master or that. Dagger Master, I don't personally run it, because it doesn't work with my deck personally. I run Andre right now just because I do stupid shenanigans with Foivos. Because he's been my avatar since he first came out. Don't you dare try and challenge me on that. I'm not a bandwagoner. I'm not a crook. Anyways. So, <laughs> Stargate stuff. I don't care. Personally. Yeah. Except uh, for Link Joker. Blows are going to be in a... I, I kind of care about Blows. Blows are nice. Blows are fun. You see the thing? Ben Galp is in Blows are just oh. sitting right there to where it's like they just can't hit that power ceiling. Like, they're right there under what the, the tier like two list. I'm just saying. Possibly tier one. Everything's going to get a sink card. They're, right. they're more low tier two, if anything, because they're, they're so gimmicky. And what you have to do... Riding, what you have to do to any deck is you give them sink artifacts. Yeah. As a stride, and then good job, you're good. Yeah, and then like tier one. Either Look that, at Battle Sisters. Either that or give them a good Legion, which push you. Why haven't you been giving us more Legions? We need more Legions. <laughs> we need Cat Butler Meta 2017. Log <laughs> going to the ZR and then Legion with your risers. Swing, 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 swing. <laughs> Alright, so here's something I'm going to ask both of you guys. Predictions on the Dragon Empire ZR. Prediction is on the Zero Dragon. Alright, so here's what it does. It, it kills opponent's stuff and then draws and then powers up your stuff and restands. My thing is. <laughs> Alright, before I put before it, I put it, my input see, on. You it. see, yeah, there's many clans within the Dragon Empire. There's only one clan that's dragon, the Zero Dragon don't care about, and that's Kagiro. Because if Kagiro does, the Zero yeah. Dragon will do it. All the other Dragon Empire around. clans, they don't care. You know, I think the Zero Dragons just can be like, I'm going to do everything from every clan. Except Merkin. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you don't need that. Kagabushi no Dissu don't matter no more. No, what they're, what is going to, what I, it's going to be like, on place, counter blast 2, retire and bind your opponent's field, your opponent chooses a card from his or hand, discards it, your front row gets plus 3 for every card in the bind zone, and then take 2 cards from your G zone, with separate rear circles. That's Merkin. Said they have to be nice somewhat. No, we don't you know Murakuma is simply a testing ground. They give the guard restraint, drive checks on the rear guard, then they give them the Gears of Royals. <laughs> it's merely I know, they're ground. like, do people like this kind of stuff? Let's give it to the decks they actually like. <laughs> Let's give them to the decks we care about as Bushy. Knights and Dragons. <laughs> yeah. Freaking Asha, Asha needs Asha needs that freaking Buster card, man. Freaking send back units. Right. <laughs> restand. Anyways, it needs a restand. Guys, do we have anything else we want to talk about? Uh, Chaos Wrecker new meta 2017. See, I think that's a, I think that's a video for another day. Cons hey, but first, conspiracy theory. Oh God. Anytime Chaos or just Link Joker gets great support. Aqua Force gets support within a three month span. So I believe that Aqua anytime the Aqua Force gets good, Link Joker must be good to deter Aqua Force players from existing. You're you right, fam. You're right, because <laughs> Chaos Breaker and Tetra Drive came out in the same set. And Tetra Transcore was a devastating play if Chaos Breaker didn't exist. That's why that's why we're looking at Toulouse like, why is Toulouse so good? But because Aqua Force is getting so good. Because they have to match those two. But, but let's let's talk about how the release date for Japan is they both basically came out the same time, right? But in like in America, yeah, they're going the out the format. same day. Sax. What? Oh, like set thirteen and the clan. Uh, no, the clan booster is coming out before two weeks. No, nope. there's a two week. Day. No, the clan booster is coming out December sixth, yeah. and then set thirteen is coming out. Well, it's December first for the clan booster, and December twenty second for the thirteen. Yeah, okay. so you'll have three weeks to play around with it and just kind of get ready and yeah, it's like two, three. Weeks. Just figure out your game plan for facing up against Link Joker. Same you know? though, yeah, cool. it's like within, it's always within a three month span. They have those two decks to each other, so I'm pretty sure anytime we freak out about Link Joker or Aqua Force getting good, remember. There's always a counter. Yeah, and with that, guys, we're going to go ahead and leave it off on that one. Go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. Team Neo Beyond, out! Let's go take